The debate between the venerable F-16 Fighting Falcon and the state-of-the-art F-35 Lightning II often centers on their dogfighting capabilities. Proponents of the F-16 argue that in a classic aerial duel, the older fighter would outmaneuver and outfight its technologically advanced counterpart. This article delves into the factors that contribute to this assertion, analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of both aircraft in close combat scenarios. First introduced in the late 1970s, the F-16 was a revolution in fighter design. It was one of the first aircraft to incorporate fly-by-wire controls, a high thrust-to-weight ratio, and a frame designed for extreme agility. Over the decades, the F-16 has been upgraded with modern avionics and weapon systems, but its core attributes of speed and maneuverability remain its greatest strengths. In a classic dogfight, these qualities are paramount. The F-35 represents the pinnacle of modern fighter technology. Designed with stealth, advanced sensors, and network-centric warfare in mind, it's built to engage enemies beyond visual range. The F-35's strengths lie in its ability to detect and engage adversaries long before they're aware of its presence. However, critics argue that these advantages come at the cost of maneuverability, a crucial factor in close-range dogfights. In a hypothetical dogfight, the F-16's superior agility gives it an edge in close-range combat. Its ability to make tight turns and rapidly change direction can be a decisive factor against the heavier and less maneuverable F-35. The F-16's time-tested design allows it to excel in the kind of high-speed, close-quarters combat that defines traditional air-to-air -air engagements. Supporters of the F-35 argue that the nature of air combat has evolved. With its advanced sensors and stealth capabilities, the F-35 can potentially avoid dogfights altogether, engaging enemies from a distance or evading detection. However, if forced into a close combat scenario, the F-35's technological advantages may not fully compensate for its lower agility compared to the F-16. It's crucial to consider the context in which these aircraft operate. The F-16 was designed for an era where dogfights were more common, while the F-35 is built for a battlefield where stealth and information dominance play a more significant role. This difference in design philosophy reflects the changing nature of aerial warfare. In conclusion, while the F-35 is a marvel of modern military technology, it may indeed be at a disadvantage in a traditional dogfight against the more agile F-16. However, it's essential to recognize that the metrics of success in aerial combat have evolved. In the modern era of warfare, the ability to avoid a dogfight may be just as valuable as winning one. The debate between the F-16 and F-35 thus reflects broader changes in military strategy and technology with each aircraft excelling in different aspects of aerial warfare.